Happiness is a marriage, is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, little things are the big things. It is never being too old to have fun together. It is remembers to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It stands together and faces the world. It speaks words of appreciation and demonstrates gratitude. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's a common search for good and the beauty. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Always remember that love will prevail. It can be the miracle that invites you to learn, to blossom, to expand through each horizon. Only from this moment on will you face the world together and the world will be a better place. Indeed, this is a day of hope, a day in which Darren and Aaron demonstrate the commitment, devotion, and the mutual respect for one another. D. They say when you know, you know. It took a few times of you confessing your love to me <laughs> to realize that I knew. Your sense of humor, your confidence, your incredible passion for life, but most importantly, your heart. I have never met someone with a more genuine, caring heart, and I'm so lucky to call you mine. Here we are, over five years later, standing in front of everyone we love, making it official. Thank you for loving me for who I am in every single way, literally. I promise that as times change and our lives become crazier than they already are, that I won't change. I'll still be your Swede, giving you a hug and kiss every day you get home from work, whether you want it or not and reminding you how much I love you. You are the most incredible daddy to our girl penners and will no doubt be an even more amazing father to our kids. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, but I know whatever it is, we'll be laughing and loving the whole time. On my heart, so. Aaron, I can truly say that I can call myself the luckiest man in the world to have you standing in front of me here today. You are in fact one of a kind. You make me realize the true meaning of love, and above all, you make love easy. Living in sin without our parents' blessings is totally worth it. However, I truthfully look forward to being a married man and starting a new chapter in my life and now being able to call it ours. I promise to honor, encourage, and support you through our walk together. That doesn't actually mean going for a walk, though. I promise to love and cherish you as much as I do Penny, if not more. I promise to have plenty of nacho chips ready on hand every day after work for you. I promise to love and care for you, and I will try every way to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind and forgiving, and try my best to be patient. But most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal friend to you. From this moment, I take you, Aaron, as my best friend for life. This is my solemn vow to you today as I make you my wife. On behalf of Darren and Aaron, I want to welcome each of you and thank you for being here. By your presence, you celebrate with them, you support their decision to commit themselves to one another for the rest of your lives. What you promised today must be renewed tomorrow and each day that stretches out before you. Darren, please repeat after me. Aaron, I give you this ring. Aaron, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of my vows. As a symbol of my vows. We made here today. We made here today. I pledge you my love. I pledge you my love. And respect. And respect. My laughter. My laughter. And my tears. And my tears. With all that, I honor you. With all that, I honor you. To the ring. Darren, please repeat after me. Darren, I give you this ring. Darren, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. 
As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And our vows we have made here today. And our vows we have made here today. I pledge you my love. I pledge you my love. And respect. And respect. My laughter and my tears. My laughter and my tears. With all this I honor you. It is my honor and delight to tell you henceforth husband and wife, you may now kiss the bride. For being here to help us celebrate the wedding of the Rhymers, Aaron and Baron. An absolutely beautiful day for a wedding. I'd like to raise our, our glass and have a toast to the bride and groom. Cheers to the bride and groom. D. I would say that Saul is happiest when she is standing by your side. Your admiration and awe for her was so obvious that you had a glow about you. It was hard to tell if that glow was just grease, but after a very short while, <laughs> your love for Aaron was so evident that even you had a hard time hiding it. Aaron, you make our daughter happy. You give her love, laughter, and security. You make us happy. Aaron, when writing this, I wanted to be certain that I chose the best words to describe you. What I soon realized was the words in my mind were the same ones I would use to describe Darren. You two really are two peas in a pod. Your zest for life, your love for your friends, your family and a whole community simply blows us away. You are kind, generous, smart and ambitious. You work hard, you play hard, you are fiercely independent. You two do not waste a minute of this precious life on earth. Erin has been a very big part of our family for the last number of years, and it gives Judy and I great pleasure to see this day arrive. Erin, you look absolutely stunning, and here's to a big warm welcome to the Hickses. Erin, you're beautiful. A great day. Welcome to the Hickses. We're happy to have you as a daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, and Auntie E. Anyone that knows Erin knows that she exudes happiness. She has an incredible way of making you feel comforted and happy no matter what the situation is. She is passionate, honest, and a loyal person. Thank you for having me stand beside you today and for always being my constant reminder that it's not what you have, it's who you have. I think every dad wants to hold on to their little girl as long as they possibly can. You'll always be my little girl. But I realized that I had absolutely nothing to worry about. My daughter is marrying a fantastic guy who makes her very, very happy, and they have a great future together. So, what's the worry? their match made in heaven. And honestly, Saul, I'm gonna tell you something. You make my best bud, D, happier than I've ever seen him. You two are unbelievable. I know you're the one for me. I've known forever, can't you see? We go together perfectly. This is love. This is love. 